Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Stellaris and, of course, to the Blood Moon Coven. Where, in the last episode, we have been uh, just putting things right, preparing for war. Now, war is coming, and it's not going to be particularly nice to us. So, why don't we go ahead... Yeah, it's going to cost a lot, but let's actually get a Penguin-class fortress built around here as well, just, just to be safe. Um, around meta LP. Let's just drop it right about there. Bonk. Um, where is the space station? Right there. That's okay. We don't want... It's, it's the obvious place to attack, really. And we don't want people just ramming their way straight through. Might even want to build one around Seleucus Secundus as well, actually. Um, this could definitely be worth it. Mana TFL. It's going to cost me a lot of money, and I've only just built these things. I've only just built up my income in order to sustain this. So, yeah, let's hold off on that. But we will build one down here just to be certain and try and help ourselves out a little bit. Now, we've almost got enough for another scientist, and that will be very, very worthwhile. Uh, we're going to wait on that. There we go. I believe we've got it. Complete order complete. Thank complete. you very much. You can go ahead and park yourself. Right, we've got enough for a new leader. Let's recruit a new scientist. I would like someone who specializes in psionics. And they will go here. There we are. Since it seems that that's the best place to get psionics. Now, when you have someone with a speciality, it seems to mean that that, per that person is likely to generate new science projects that fit their speciality or kind of in the same sort of area, which is super, super useful for us. Um, that's all we're going to wait complete. for there. Oh, really? What did we just get? Planetary Shields. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Navigator's Guild. Oh, this is getting, this is getting very, uh, <laughs> very Dune. I approve. Uh, Archimeters unlocks the component Archimeter. Powerful weapons that launch a lightning arc of concentrated energy at targets, which then has a chance of bouncing to nearby ships. Very effective against clusters of smaller ships. Hmm. That's particularly nice. The Navigator's Guild reveals the resource Zro. An extremely rare aerosol of exotic particles. It has been deposited on a number of worlds through meteor impacts, but its true origin is a mystery. If ingested by psionically gifted individuals, Ro acts as a very potent and addictive drug that enhances cyberly. Okay, yeah, you know what? It isn't it isn't just Dune-esque, it's flat out Dune. Okay. And the Navigators Guild. They will be able to bend space. Um, ship modifier. Chance to hit plus 3. Warp speed plus 20%. Sensor range 100% increased. That is kind of amazing. And it's in the end. Unlocks the module. So we'd actually have Navigator Guild members. Uh, oh, rather, the members of the Navigator's Guild on our ships. Oh, this is, this is possibly going to go wrong. Um, we will get it because it's a rare... A very rare research, so we'll uh, grab you. You can join us, and uh, then Soral can go over there since that's going to give us a big old bonus to that. Yeah, uh, it makes a lot of sense there. And the meta, let's just make sure that everything's upgraded that can be. Let's get that upgraded, please. And things are generally doing okay. We can't afford to move you. Unfortunately, you do have to sit there for now. The physics lab. Hmm. I'd prefer not to move you. I would prefer to keep you there, honestly. We're slowly growing out our forces, though. And money's coming in, despite our recent build. I think it is time for us to attack. Alright. Well. Let's go talk to... Ooh. What just happened? Wow, wow, wow. What awesome timing. Yes. We will strike them while their attentions are divided. This could not have been better. Okay, let's have a quick glance at them. I mean, it's hard for me to tell. They're equivalent in terms of their military. All right. But they are flat out at war. 
with all of their vassals. Okay, okay, I, I approve. Hmm. This is a good thing. They've got 18 colonies and 160 population, whereas the... Um, I really wish there was a, an easy way to do this. 41 colonies, 594. They are overwhelming. But they're mildly less annoyed with us right now. Mutual rivals. Um, they're at war with an awful lot of people right now. Okay. Change of plan. We're going to give a little time for people to move around. Once they've moved out there, I think we will then move in. We're going to give them a little bit of time. A little bit of time to properly commit their forces. To react, to get out there. I wish I could see, though. I really do. Wish I could see. I wonder if I could... Could I possibly make a trade with you? Your vassals of the hegemony of Pocky Ganklack. Would I be able to... You have an embassy with me. You're quite cordial. You're an inferior species. Offer a trade deal. Oh, I can't. I would love to be able to see your... Uh, information. Border access. Could I get civilian access to your to your lands? I'll give you star charts in return. In fact, I'll even give you some minerals. I'll give you an instant transfer of, I don't know, let's say 101 minerals. The length, very long. I want it for a while. Well, actually, no point. I only want to see where you are. Okay. No, that would have been silly. Thankfully, I didn't do it. Confirm. I want to be able to move into your territory because then I can have spies watch it. I can move a science ship or two over there and just peek. Um, your terms are reasonable. Excellent. Thank you very much. Azathoth, get over there. I want I want to see what's going on. Get into the territory. Find out, if you can, where they're moving. Just station there for a little while. I know, I know. I'm sending you into the place where we're going to go to war. I will hopefully, I mean, I really, really hope, I'll remember. And I'll get you out of there. Odds are, I won't and will lose you. But, know that you are doing this for the advancement. Oh, let's pause. For the advancement of the Blood Moon Coming. We've encountered some form of alien vessel. Alright. Alright. Interesting. And they've got warp technology. We should proceed with caution, that is correct. Let's get over and just stay... Sh we'll enter orbit above that planet. But we want to... Research them. Do it. That will be good. Now, they've jumped through. They're on the move. They are definitely fielding a reasonable force. Hopefully, they don't destroy me utterly. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter where you are in this system. Go ahead and um, enter orbit there. We have no particular reason to uh, fight with these ones. Let's have a look at their, their build-up. Look. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the guns. So many beautiful. Oh, those aren't guns. That's a shame. I was very impressed for a moment. I was like, oh my god! How can the battleships have so many guns? Because they're awesome, that's how. They've got four battleships, two cruisers, nine destroyers, and, and 22 um, corvettes. Okay. And they have one cruiser. It's going to not end well for them. Let's just observe this. We're, we're getting some intel. I am sorry for you. You were pulled into this war. Alright, let's slow down time. What kind of crazy weapons? What did they just do? Oh, something warped out, I think. Whatever they're launching, it's hitting pretty well. They are trying to shoot down... Strike craft, it looks like. They've got decent shields. I say decent. It's gone, so it wasn't that decent, but you know, 
it, it was up against a significantly larger force, and it lasted for a little while. Now, oh, here we go. We've got two smaller, well, one smaller, one larger fleet. All right, that's about the size of my carrion swarm. Um. That one's a bit bigger than my Prime Swarm. Alright, they've got lots of fleets moving in. I want to see where they're going, really. Probably going to move into Bombardment. Uh, they're really not going to like us, you know, taking this time to attack them. <laughs> We're jerks. Kicking them while they're down, that's what we're about to do. Are they entering orbit, it seems, or are they on the move? No, they're entering orbit, and they're starting to bombard. Um, no, actually, they bombarded for a moment, then moved on. Oh, wow, so many fleets. Okay, they are definitely moving through. After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the Zeltec Principality. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities have been terminated. We gained a bunch of influence. Good, good. Fair aliens, I bring greetings from the Zeltec Principality. We are a peaceful nation, justly ruled by our beloved King Jkir I. We hope today will mark the beginning of an era of friendship between ourselves and your fascinating species. Hate to break it to you, it's not going to happen that way. You walk the path of heresy, alien scum. Keep out of our way, or we will make you. Our sacred arms shall not waver, Zeltec. Or... Blasphemers will burn, Xeno heretics. We'll, we'll be a little bit more diplomatic and just say, keep out of our way or we will make you. Just stand aside. But... Where were they from? Do we not know? We might not know. Either way, <laughs> you got a lot of death moving through there. Right, now would possibly be a good time. Uh, I want to see them warp out. I want them to warp out so that the hegemony's forces are drawn away. Research Go on. Complete. Pop. That was warping, I guess. Army upkeep, good. Naval capacity, no. Hydroponics farm three, don't need it. Engos refinery. Energy weapon damage plus 10%. Wow, okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. Might as well. 11 months remaining on that one. Let's head out for a little bit and see where they're off to. Okay, they're actually just moving through your worlds. Uh, in that case, I want... You to go in and sit there. Where are your masters? Are they not coming for you? Ooh. That was hegemony. There we go. Oh, these poor worlds. These poor, poor worlds. You're just being left to it. How cruel. How cruel that they have abandoned you. We wouldn't abandon you. <laughs> we would. Uh, well, we might not, actually. We might instead. Wow, this whole force just moving through. The whole alliance is on the move. Oh, they're jumping back. Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping they'd go deeper into their territory. There they go. What was it that just left? Hmm. I'm not sure what's gone where. But, I don't think we should wait any longer. We've given them plenty of time to properly engage. And where are my forces? Right, we want Shorax. And maybe... Perhaps take Akalum. Okay. Our entire nation stands united in the contempt we feel towards you, Dappling. My um, Mesenteran chums at the me my Mesenteran chums at the mere side of you. Oh well, okay. I guess that's fair. Um Shorax and Akalum. Declare war in that case. I would, no, I wouldn't vassalize them. 
246. Never gonna happen. Um, seed. Have a look for it. Unfortunately, it is not. It is not ordered. That would have made it far too easy for me. Clearly, to Neka. But I would prefer. There we are. Akalum. Give that to me. And where's the other? We want it. So, Shorax. Also give that to me. War score cost is only 15. All of these opponents. Ugh. We'll also be bringing in the Sorrel Feral Holdings. Confirm. Alright. At last, this war will be the beginning of the end of your pitiful nation, Dabblings. Alright, well. We're going to have to fight hard for this one. Negotiate. Acceptance. They won't accept. They'd flat out just accept the white piece, apparently. Defenders have not yet set any demands. Ah, okay. Fine. Well, first and foremost, Carrion Swarm. And only the Carrion Swarm. Move in. Prime Swarm. We'll actually smash a couple of the planets around there and then move in. Jump, please. Now I should have moved them to the edges so that they could jump immediately. I'll remember that for the next time. Ooh. Of course. I didn't remember. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're like, no, why? Please. <laughs> you said you'd remember. Okay, you should uh, recall as quickly as you can. If you can. Right. Okay, they've got a reasonable fleet over there. That's actually not so great. And what have we got down here? You should be able to just wipe everything in this place out. I, I don't want you doing anything I don't tell you to do at this point. Let's move on through. And carry and swarm. How's stuff? Uh, those two are actually there to fight. Um, Reub State, Reub State. They've they've already claimed this area. Oh, okay. There's more besides on their way. Okay, Carrion Swarm doesn't want to be here then. Carrion Swarm wants to be somewhere else. Let's jump in and see if they can get out. Yeah, they should be able to get. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They bailed. Well, there's no point in me being here. This has already been uh, claimed, which is a bit of a pain. That might actually be something that they're trying to take. Oh dear! They're going for me. That is unfortunate. And this is. Where are you headed? Carrion Swarm? Don't. Wherever you're going, don't. Right, go there. Hostile fleet detected. Where are you headed? Nope, you're on the move again. Where are you going? Ah, damn it, they've gone over there. There's a lot of ships here. Hostile but they're on the move. Hostile fleet detected. Right, well, where are they all headed to, though? That's the question. Where are they trying to get to? They're jumping through the system, possibly. Yeah, they're going for the Blood Moon. The, the Prime Swarm. All right, so we've got an opportunity here. Unfortunately, our, our opportunity is radically diminished by the simple fact that this fleet is pretty beasty. We could probably lay into it, but. Um. Avalon, 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 Avalon. That one's going to Avalon. Yeah, get over to Avalon then. 
Situation. Let's see if they can uh, get in here. Hostile fleet engaged. Try and attack. Or jump out into one of their occupied systems. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Our fleet's doing a fairly good job of Hostile destroying everything. Detected. We'll see where their fleets are and where they're going. The first Abyssal Flotilla. We love it if you could attack them. Odds are they're going to be gone before you can get there. Situation updated. I should probably get... Oh, nope, they're gone. Drat. Uh, yeah, they're definitely heading down here. And a lot of ships just showed up. Kind of want to be gone now. Yeah, let's, let's just flee. Don't want to be here anymore. Instead, we want you to be able to... Um, actually, we could go for their capital. That would be an interesting one. We're already 1% up. Uh, yeah, sure, if we can... Can we jump over there? Yeah, we can. Let's start doing our regular thing. Trying to keep at least one fleet in their territory at any one time. Oh, they're pulling out. They don't want any of it. All right. Well, actually, I kind of want to hit this. So I'm going to turn around and attack it while I can. They've got so much stuff going on in their, in their area that they can't really deal with anything. All right, where's Carrion Swarm? What's Carrion Swarm doing? What I don't want Carrion Swarm doing is being anywhere near the edge of the map for the most part. Prime Swarm, continue to attack. Situation log update. Okay, move in there. I'm gonna need to get my main fleet all the way down here. In fact, you should be able to bounce there. Oh my lord, that's amazing. I've got a really good range on my uh on my warp gates at this point. I think that's just within range though. Possibly. Hostile fleet Continue through. Now, let's have a look. Space battle, we lost. Oh, Sovereign Feral Holdings. Damn. I hadn't seen them involved. Are they attacking? I can't see them. But they're coming back here right now. So we need to be not here anymore, quite badly. Yep, goodbye. Not staying. Maybe I am staying, Situation you don't know. Updated. What just happened? The breeze all over the place. Carrion Swarm. Yeah, Carrion Swarm doesn't want to be there anymore. Move away. Uh, they're given chase. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh. Ah! Uh, <laughs> that was bad. And they don't have uh, a leader. Well, drat. I could throw you at them. There's way too much there. We're about to lose a lot of units there. And there's no way to retreat. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot. <laughs> that was my own fault. Right, just bounce out. Carry and swarm. Go ahead, bounce over there. We'll check on our research. A naturally occurring stimulant that helps all forms of life adapt and evolve. It can be used as a very potent conductor for energy weapons. Can unlock that tile blocker? Uh, sure, actually, I like that. Let's get rid of that unlocked. But that is super bad. Really wish you could flee so bad. Splat. Oh well. You died gloriously in, in so far as that you died. Uh, that was such a bad loss of ships there. So bad. Alright. 
Well, we're currently bouncing back and about to bounce back out. In fact, why don't you go over there? Because it's a little bit further away. They are fast, though. It's very annoying. I kind of need my troops to be deep in their space. I don't know what's going on with their war. But we're minus two now, thanks to that. Damn it. Really bad. Alright. Well, we're just going to have to keep on uh, jumping around and doing the best we can. We've got nothing much in this system. I wish they honestly had uh, some space bases that would pull me into a fight with them. Because it would make traveling around so much faster. Okay, Prime Swarm's fighting something. Oh, that's fine. That is not so bad. Now move in and take out this. Oh, you can finish this off super fast. There we go. Okay, we've got a reasonable fleet there. We should probably be able to take this out before it can really do too much. And if it does, we'll bail. Okay, their shields have been pulled down. Iron Swarm, how is things going for you? Uh, you've got a reasonable size fleet on its way to you. Let's see how this plays out. Ooh. Is that in the Avalon system? Yes, it is. Let's see where all the enemies are. Got a second fleet on its way in. Uh, that was not actually that big. Don't have to worry about that one. But I do need to start building up a new army. So, Avakis. We require an army. Um, we've got a reasonable amount of defensive forces there, but we need to recruit some more. Now, we can get Psionic. Dapplings or psionic or uh, shathy. The dapplings are significantly stronger. Okay. We'll start putting those together. It takes a bit of time. Oh, we don't have enough room, perhaps? That might be that. Uh, what about the Salusa Secundus? I wouldn't mind some robot armies, actually. But they have enormous health. Um, the robot armies do much less damage overall. But do a, a, a... Less morale damage, sorry. But they're much better at just surviving. Uh, Dapplings all the way. And some more robots. Then I would like... Uh, I can't build slave armies here. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. Uh, build a couple of robot armies. Then. Now we've got a couple of actual fights going on. Let's go see how the Prime Swarm is handling its fight. No one else has joined yet. So we're going to slow this right down. And see how this goes. How are you going to handle this? Hopefully you actually turn around and fight them. Got a lot of torpedoes on the go. That should very rapidly wipe out anything they hit. How's the carrion swarm doing? It's almost finished with its fight. Speed things up just a tad. Looks like they've engaged now. I was hoping for a little bit more from the enemies, honestly. But it doesn't look like we're really going to get that. Now, you've got they've got three battleships, you've got three battleships. Overall, they've got more. You've got slightly more corvettes. One less cruiser and less um, destroyers. But I'm wondering if they have... A strong utility setup as, as we do because it doesn't necessarily look it I'm not sure it's hard to tell they've got if we have a look at this battle they've got f they've done far less damage to shields evasive ratio hit ratio they're better damage to armor far less 
damage to hull significantly more. Inflicted explosive weapon damage, inflicted energy weapon damage, inflicted kinetic weapon damage. Oh right, is this the damage to our shields perhaps? I can't quite tell. But now our fleet is actually getting in. Ooh, there's my swarm missile set up. Let's see how that works. And kapow. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm, we're kind of split here, which is annoying sin. That will go down before too long, but we're splitting our weapon fire quite a lot here. We're winning overall, but we are losing ships. How's the carrion swarm doing? Any backup coming in from? I really wish my uh, battleships would get involved, honestly. That'd be grand. Because right now, they're doing a little bit better because not all of their shields are being neutered the, the way they're meant to be. We've lost one Corvette, I believe, so far. Oh dear. Where? And where is it? And what's it doing? Okay, they've got a bit of stuff. This is going to hurt. Wherever they decide to go, it's going to hurt. Well, there's not much I can do about it right now. Right, we've got... Uh, the Sovereign Feral Holdings not really backing this up as much as I would have liked, frankly. Transport ships. I was hoping that I could get them in involved in this. Maybe I should contact them and see if I can just tell them, Oi! You lot, get involved. Communicate. Feral, Masters of the Material Plane. Do you come to ask for spiritual guidance or to give orders? The subject of trade deal, uh, recall embassy, cancel integration. No, there's no particular way that I can order them around, or at least not through that. All right. Well, we're going to let this fight play out, I think. We'll speed things up just a little to normal speed. We've lost a lot of our shields. Fortunately, our things just clustered together, which is kind of annoying. Carrion Swarm is losing ships left and right. Our battleships have not gone involved. Mm. This is not particularly the best engagement we could have had, honestly. I'm thinking of recalling the Carrion Fleet. In fact, I am going to recall it. We're going to get out of this. And hopefully, there we go. They will have won that one. We lost three of six and twelve corvettes. They lost one spaceport and two corvettes in that entire engagement. That was not so good. Total damage output, we output much less damage. Where is the carrying swarm currently? Because we have got some issues. All right, carrying swarm, go and attack, if you will, please. Where are the enemies? Have they bailed out? They may have already bailed out, actually. Now that is a very worrying sight. Well, let's just jump down. We're winning, but we have lost a fair chunk in the doing of. And my ships just don't seem to... I don't know, the clustering up worries me a little bit. We may win this one just out of tech. The sort of tech we brought to this fight, but it's clear that we need better firepower and a lot of it. I need to make some battleships that are just there to apply damage. Finally, we got rid of that, so we're free to move around a bit more. There we go. And the last little bits as well, please. Are we shooting these things down? Yes, we are good. Oh dear. Or was that the fleet that I wanted to engage? Uh, yes, it looks like it was the fleet that I wanted to engage. That's okay now. Just get rid of them if we could, please. There we go. And at this point, I would like you to pull back 
to Jones World. Let's go enter orbit around Jones World. I need a scientist. We've got enough influence now to get one, which is great. Let's go and grab ourselves a scientist as well then. Recruit. Um, research speed or research. Well, uh, we'll go with particles. Let's get that. This leader shall be. Oh, I forgot to, to name the U, didn't I? Oops, my bad. Right, this shall be Froggy Music Man. And you shall be Midnight Psychopath. <laughs> You'd have to be a psychopath to want to be a scientist on a science vessel at this time. Not that you really get a choice. I guess I'm making the choice for you, really, when I think about it. Right. I would like you over here to have a quick look at this, but there's a good chance death is going to wait you. Now uh, we've got... Uh, not a huge force there. Okay, huge force there, though. May have to bail out of this one in a moment. Quickly take them down. Or flee. One or two there. Mostly battleships in that fleet. Yet. That could actually work out good in a way. Oh wow. That actually gained us a lot of war score. Gained us a lot of war score. We lost uh, about 10 ships though. We lost a battleship in fact. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Which battleship did we lose? We lost the latest battleship that we built. That's pain. Alright, well, I think at this point we're going to swing down and out. I would like you to be jumping. Back to Avakis Prime, perhaps? The only issue with doing that is we're not going to have any specific... Uh, Gorilla fleet's in a position to attack. No, I kind of want you to turn around and come back. Yeah, okay, there we are. I really desperately need... Hmm. Admiral Space Penguin has leveled up. Excellent. Admiral Space Penguin has leveled up again. Double excellent. Let's actually see this. The Prime Swarm lost... Oh, no, they lost three corvettes and one battleship. And that's all they lost. The enemies lost... Two battleships, four cruisers, 32 corvettes, and six destroyers, a mining station, and a spaceport. That's not actually a bad return on investment. The Prime Swarm did bloody well there. They did have a, um, a leader as well. Because I was wondering if maybe they just didn't have a leader, but no, they did. They did have a leader. In the end, our evasion was much higher. Our hit ratio was lower. Point defense targets killed, 189. They only killed four. Strike craft, they had three. Strike craft, zero. Inflicted explosive weapons damage, significant amounts. And laser damage. And in kinetic damage. You know what? The uh, Prime Swarm didn't do too bloody badly there. Well done, Prime Swarm. But I think we do need the Prime Swarm to, to bounce at this point. Bounce back to this station. We would have a home advantage here, quite a significant one as well. Um, but clearly Avakis Prime needs to be building me more battleships. Um, let's just double check my battleships again. Which one we need to be building. Devon Chase is my healer. Grenarian is my anti-shield. And the Gustav is my shield dampener. Now, yes, we definitely need another of those. Wow. Like, super, super bad need another of those. All right. Following that, I'm thinking... Really, did they never engage? It's a bit of a pain. Oh, well. Following that, we probably want... Um, I'm going to say another two Gustav Vassas. We want to keep their shields down. That's a, like a big thing. We we were massively dampening their shield shielding. Maybe 
I don't know, design their battleship purely for just Daka Daka? I think that might be a good move. So we're going to get a Vakis. We're building one of these. It's going to take a little while. I really need to build one of my other my other planets. Maybe Greater Arik or Midna for building... Um, we're building battleships. We'll have to see. We've got a reasonable fleet there in Avalon. Uh, three battleships, three cruisers, eight destroyers, 20 corvettes. Maybe I need to get... I could easily get you up there. But you're not healed. However, you'll heal on the way. I could get up there and meet this, this fleet and try and take them out. But that's going to be for the next episode. Sorry that this one was quite a long one. Hopefully it's been interesting, though. We've, you know, we're holding our own in the war. We are doing okay. We just really do need to pick our battles wisely. I need to get some occupation going on because that is a big thing for us. If we can start uh, occupying planets, then that's very, very quickly going to push the war score in our favor. So we need to gear ourselves towards that. We're building another army. It was such a shame that we lost the one that we had. That was such a big loss too. But we're going to jump down. Possibly have... Yeah, we're going to need to jump over to here and then up, I would say. Because if we jump there, it's going to be kind of obvious where we're going. Whereas this is going to make it very difficult to see. So we'll jump down. It'll take the same amount of time no matter what we do. Same amount of jumps. This will just lead us... In a better direction. Alright, but that is going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, do take care everyone.